We Hello and welcome to Mind Tripping with Michelle. My name is Michelle Melio and I'll be your host. Today we have a very special broadcast. We're going to be broadcasting for one full hour. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I have with me Jean Salch and we will get to Jean in just a moment. For now, I'd like to tell you about today's show. Today we're going to be talking about the power of prayer, the power of a belief in something other than ourselves, and the power and the ability to be able to shift and change and make ourselves well by using our faith, our belief, and our own subconscious mind. Jean is, uh, Jean is a medicine woman. She is a multidimensional healer, and she is a channel. Welcome, Jean. Thank you, Michelle. It is an honor and a pleasure to be here. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'm so glad you are here. Jean comes all the way from Vermont, and uh, she just so happened into sunny southwest Florida. We've been friends for quite a while. We met, uh, oh gosh, was it was over 10 years ago now? About that, yes, oh, yes. Gosh. And we met at a spiritual festival. Yes. And, and my um, spirit. Instant connection. Mm -hmm. right? <laughs> yes. Yes. We had a lot in common. <laughs> and, um, and, and so, uh, you know, I've always followed Jean and been intrigued with what she does. And, um, and I think that you're going to be intrigued as well. Stick with us for the whole hour. Uh, I also want to let you know that, um, that we are going to be having people call in with questions at about 1030. So you can call in and ask Jean any questions that you have about what she does. Mm -hmm. um, you can also call in if you, you have any questions about some elements going on or some struggles. Perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. And will you also be able to do like a personal healing? Like if somebody has something specific or does that take a little more time? Um, it would depend on the circumstances. If it was something that would take one or two minutes, then yes. Okay, so I guess we'll decide. Yes, so if we you have an ailment or somebody that you love and care about and you'd like to ask if Jean can send healing to you or them, uh, go ahead and give us a call. And uh, the only thing I don't have right now that I, that I need is that phone number to call in. I know it's written on our thing, but um, I just want to announce that number. And the other thing I'd like to mention, Michelle, is that if anybody needed any help with prayers or healing or water, which we'll get into in a moment, you know, that can also be set up later on. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Yes. So if you want to um, visit Jean's uh, website, I'm going to give that to you in just a minute. Call in at 1030 if you have any questions. The number is 713-955-0351. Okay, and we'll repeat it again when it comes time to call, but that's going to be from 1030 to 11. And I'm going to just tell you really quick Jean's website so that if you'd like to, uh, if you have like healing that you'd like to have done and there's not enough time today, or if you'd like to connect with Jean afterwards, we want to make sure that you have that information. And it's www.jeansalch.com. Salch. Am I yes. pronouncing Salch. Yes, you are. Thank you. Com. And it is listed across the bottom of your screen for those of you who are watching live on uh, Google. Now, for those of you that are on YouTube, you'll be able to see it live. But afterwards, I do a little bit of dubbing of the videos and just to make sure that we got a nice, clean, uncut video. So sometimes that um, web address will go away. So it's J-E-A-N-S-A-L-C-H dot com. So, Gene. I'm sure that my viewers really want to know a little bit more about you. You know, uh, what you do, why, how you came to be a medicine woman, uh, the clear channel. Uh, my question is, you know, and I, I had asked you this before the show. We were talking a little bit about it. I'm wondering, you know, is this something you were born with? Did you have a big aha moment to realize, like, what makes you uh, have this wonderful gift to be able to help heal people? Mm, thank you, Michelle. Well, um, <clears throat> excuse me. When I came into this lifetime, this body, I uh, my empath abilities were open, and I could uh, smell mm. certain smells that would uh, let me know some information about some people, and nice. uh, um, I could sense and hear spirits. So it really 
developed more for me in my uh, 20s because then more information was was out there in the mm -hmm. world where I could, you know, master what my gifts were and what I was doing. So um, now, did you know what you were doing before your 20s? Like, were you aware that it was, I was you know, the gift of mediumship and channeling and all that? What I was aware of was that I was here in this lifetime to promote love. Very strong. I knew that from when I was a little girl. And uh, just recently, my cousin <laughs> said to me, because he had an aha moment, and said, I finally get it. It's all about love. And mm -hmm. he's, and I said, well, you know, I've been trying to tell you our whole lives. <laughs> so my, I've known from the time I was a little girl that I came here for something that had to do about love. As I matured into a woman, you know, mm -hmm. and learned how to really sit in meditation with my guides, I got more guidance to um, pursue um, other modalities of wow. types of healing. Nice. So, um, but where I'm at right now is uh, we are, with the divine beings that I work with, we have been performing uh, miracles. Yeah, to say the least. Yes, in <laughs> healings and in my water. Yeah. So I was asked to make water. Yeah, tell about the water. So, for, well, actually, before we tell about the water, okay. I want to back up a little bit because <laughs> I think a lot of people that don't know you um, would want to know this. And when I had first met you, uh, shortly after, probably a couple of years after we had first met, you had started um, uh, channeling the Divine Mother Mary. Yes. So can you tell us about that? Because I think that leads into the water. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you. Is, I'm is sorry. Right? No, Absolutely. no. You're I right. where we going with this. But <laughs> I want to make sure that, like, you know, that, that we know it came from, so it comes from Mother Mary. Can you share that? Like, how does, like, tell in Mother Mary? I know. Holy cow. I know. Well, <laughs> she came to me a little over seven years ago and asked me if she could work with me. And um, I had to go through my own transition of why would she choose me? Because uh, at the time I was studying uh, to be an intern, all faith minister. Oh, okay. So it didn't make sense. Yeah. So I sat with it for a while and I said, okay, what did, would you like to do with me? <laughs> <laughs> and she said that she would like to communicate through me mm -hmm. to spread the word of love. And then okay. everybody has gifts and abilities mm -hmm. and that it's not about religion because religion was man-made. It's, it's about oneness and wow. unity. And this is the lifetime where people are supposed to come together. Wow. So when she, she said, when you were ready, you'll go out and you'll begin. Nice. So <clears throat> it's seven years <laughs> and here I am. And uh, it was very interesting because, and I say this very humbly, when she first presented what I would be doing, mm -hmm. uh, it really blew me away because I was thinking, you know, 15, 20, 25 people. And she said, oh, no, Jean, we're talking thousands and thousands of people and then that took me another couple of months to digest yeah like global level yes wow. like 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 and i say this with humble grace if you're if you know who john of god is in brazil mm -hmm. yes that is my path ultimately oh i get chills, I get chills. Like, <laughs> yes really so i've been i've done lots of preparing to be in this place so anyway <clears throat> Two years ago, mm -hmm. John the Baptist came in and asked me if he would, could work with me to transmute the cells of water for blessing people and for healing cells, for healing. So um, together with John the Baptist and the Immaculate Conception, mm -hmm. and we say the Immaculate Conception because Mary says that there are two perceptions of Mary out in the world. Really? Yes. Oh, do tell. Well, the first perception is uh, the conflict about the, you know, was it an immaculate birth or not? And we're not going to get into that because that's not what we're talking about today. But that's why I say immaculate conception. 
because in that way, I know we are talking about the Immaculate Conception in the purest form. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yes. Cool. So, so we, a lot of times when I'm meditating and um, the Immaculate Conception will come in and then followed Buddha and Kuan Yin and Krishna and Jesus, <laughs> the grandmothers of the four directions and white buffalo and, mm -hmm. and the great chiefs. Chief Red Cloud, Chief Sitting Bull, and Chief Crazy Horse, so I honor so deeply. And you channel, they channel, are they all channel? Yes. Um, <laughs> people listen, before we started, Jean said, I don't know, I can't make any guarantees, you know, and I was like, please, please, please let somebody come through. <laughs> well, as you know, we're in physical human bodies and our vibration phys physically is much lower than a divine being, of mm -hmm. course. So the grandmothers of the four directions needed to, they were able to assimilate with me, with my soul, mind, body, spirit. Um, because their vibration was at a place that I could re raise my vibration to meet theirs and my physical body still be healthy. Mm -hmm. The ascended masters had to slowly integrate. No, not integrate, assimilate. Wow. Which is a little different, but the same. So the reason why they did that was so that we could, I'm, they're all speaking right now. And there was a time when I used to communicate with my eyes closed. And one day they said to me during a meditation, there was about 20 people in the room, we would like Jean to channel with her eyes open, but she's nervous about it because she's afraid she'll disconnect. So her homework assignment for the week is to <laughs> practice that. And your homework assignment for the week is to practice looking in the mirror and telling yourself how much you love yourself, mm. okay? Like so that. the next morning I'm driving, <laughs> I'm driving, <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> and Joy comes in, <laughs> this is Joy, but she's not in all the way fully, but she may be, <laughs> so Joy came in, <laughs> and we started giggling like this, <laughs> and she said, do you realize what you're doing, G? And I said, yes, I'm driving 50 miles an hour, and I'm channeling you, <laughs> and I started laughing. And there she goes. She's gone. Oh. Joy is a human name that we gave Joy, John, and Jacob years ago. And they are divine beings who hold love oh. in the temple of devotion between creator, God, and humanity. So you don't call upon them for anything. Mm -hmm. They just, I invited them uh, two years ago to see if they would like to be known to the world of who they are and what they do. So that's wow. joy. And sometimes she'll come in and spin joy around people and who knows, maybe she'll pop in again. I love it. And you could actually feel the energy shift when she came through. Yes. And like it felt lighter. It felt like almost, like, more joyful or playful, right? Yeah, like the, when you're a kid, and you're at the playground, you're like, oh, I could swing on a swing or yes. something. Well, you that's know? why you're cool. seeing like this part of yeah. me like this because that's her too. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Mm. So, um, so that was like a little taste of yes. channeling. Yes. So I started making the water and I've had so many miraculous, uh, healings results as a result for people. And it's kind of interesting because someone will be on the other side of the world and they'll say, Oh, Jean, this is impossible. And if you don't mind, I need to take a sip, please. Yeah, you've had some actual confirmations from people. Yes, immediate okay. confirmations. Um, first of all, what we do is we put our hands over your water, whether it's in a water bottle or it's in a glass. Mm -hmm. And we we remove all toxins. So we're, we're working like all the way down to the cellular level and the PhDs and everything, okay? Wow. So we're purifying them. So you could be somewhere in a third world country even and go to the tap water, okay? And this water is going to be purified, the cells. And I can tell you about it in a wow. second. And uh, then they will be filled with creator God and cells, 
Christ conscious sales and blessings. Now this has nothing to do with religion. Okay. My path has nothing to do with religion. The reason why I communicate the Immaculate Conception, Kuan Yin and Buddha, Krishna, Moses and Abraham, the grandmothers, white buffalo and the great chiefs is because they want humanity to know that they all work together the and they're all one. about love. Wow. So they know, the divine knows what you need in your water. So I may make water for you every day, but it will always be different. That is so cool. So some of the miracles that we have done is I had a woman in California who had hives. I it's where she had the hives broken out and she was itching like crazy. Five minutes later, after drinking a glass of water, her hives were gone. Wow. I had a young man in India who uh, had the flu really bad. He drank the water and he said, oh, I'm so sleepy, I can't keep my eyes open. I said, you gotta go to sleep now so the healing can work. Well, he woke up a few hours later and all his symptoms were gone. Wow. Then I had another person, a different person in India who had hemorrhoids. So something that can be painful. Well, I, I'm I expressing mean, this because it's something that can happen and it's a real thing. But it was so intense for this person that they couldn't go to work because they sit for their job. Mm -hmm. So I made this person a bottle of water and their hemorrhoids went away. That's awesome. Now, do some people maybe not get 100% healed in a, in a miracle way. Well, you have to be open to the possibility of receiving a miracle. Mm -hmm. You need to be open to, to the knowing and belief that you are worthy to have a miracle. Mm -hmm. I had a woman, I also, like I, you mentioned, I'm a multidimensional healer medicine woman and I had a woman in the middle of the country who told me that she had a cancerous tumor in her left breast and it was confirmed okay wow. and this was on a Thursday when she told me and on Monday she was going in for the pre-op okay so she said okay Jean I'm gonna try you <laughs> because she's we're over the internet talking right so 10 minutes later, I come back to the computer and I say, okay, it's gone. How does, it, how does your breast feel? And she said, well, it was tingling while you were doing it, but I don't know. Is it really gone? Is it really mm -hmm. gone? So the next day she wrote me and she said, Jean, I'm wearing my regular normal size bra. She said, because I've been wearing a larger size cup to compensate. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I can wear my normal bra now. And I said, because it's gone. I wow. sucked it out. I, I sucked it out with my mouth. I time wow. traveled to her house. So um, that night before she went for her pre-op, she was very nervous. Are you sure? Are you sure? And I said, please, it's gone. You can go Just to sleep and rest, right? right? Mm -hmm. Well, later that Monday, after she got home from her pre-op, she said, you're going to love this. She said, they did four different tests on me, scratching their heads, flipping through my notes. Wow. Not, well, you know, her yeah. medical notes. And then they said to me, after a couple of hours, you need to get dressed and go in this room where all her doctors were summoned. And this poor person was thinking, oh my goodness, <laughs> what's wrong, right? How bad is it, right? Yeah. Well, they said to her, we have no idea what happened, no explanation, but you have received a miracle. The tumor is, is gone. There's no trace. Wow. Oh, wow. It's gone. And that was from a healing, mm -hmm. not the water. So that was like a personal thing. Right. So that's why if anybody would like something um, more specific, um, they could call in and call the number, which is in, in just a few minutes, right? How much time do we have? Okay, so in about 10 minutes, we're going to open up the phone lines, um, but you can also visit Jean's website, which is uh, www.jeansalch.com. And um, so would you, I know we have just about, you know, before we start taking calls, and I have a feeling that the phone lines, I don't know, I just have this intuition that the phone lines are going to kind of blow up right now, you know? <laughs> and um, so... Um, 
<laughs> well, maybe yeah, everybody can minor get, technical difficulties. May, maybe can everybody we, can get take a moment and go get some water. And this is a bottle. Yes, we start, just take the time? cap off the water. Okay. Or get a glass, whatever you want to do, and I'll use my water to represent everybody's water. Okay, so now's the time. Um, uh, when I when I did the description of today's show, I had said like make sure you have some water, a glass of water, a bottle of water. I've got my bottle of water already. But if you don't. <laughs> Um, go and get one now. And even if you're watching this show after, yes, please. Jean has told me that this will work after. Absolutely. Everything that we do today on today's show, anyone who listens in the archives or later on, yep. will get the same effects. Wow. So, so whether you're watching live today, go get your water, get ready, take a couple <laughs> of minutes. We're going to get prepped here. And if you're watching the show after, um it is in the top right hand corner see it oh yes i would so actually we're going to be taking calls right after we bless the water in about yes. like eight minutes mm -hmm. right and so the phone number is to call in 713-955-0351 and of course if you're watching this pre-recorded you won't be able to call in but if you're watching live right now or you're mm -hmm. listening live um because i do have a lot of followers that actually listen on there um you know because we we mark it on facebook and oh everything. nice so um you can call that number okay so what do we have to do to bless the water what needs to all you have to do is either is have it sitting next to you some people who are sensitive to energies which you might want to do michelle <laughs> is they'll hold it in their most receptive hand that they are sensitive in okay and you don't have to do this, but if you are energy sensitive, you might want to do this because you may feel the transformation happening. Wow. I've had people who are sensitive can feel the vibration all the way up their arm and into their heart as the water is transmuting. And um, wow, that I have been told by some people who are very sensitive that they have drank half the water and then later on came back to finish it and they in the water was still vibrating so it kind of stays oh in there until you consume it exactly okay. i have a question too can you like is it best to drink it or can you like use it to you can drink it you can put it on your wounds? body you can do that yes i have people who have um needed it for like for wounds mm -hmm. or uh hurt things right and i'll say well just put a little bit of water on it but make sure you drink the whole bottle because it's going nice. to work internally out okay all right so make sure you drink water is good for you mm -hmm. more ways than one <laughs> yes oh and don't have your coffee next to you or your tea mm -hmm. because it will get changed okay uh i had a woman uh in nova scotia and i was it was a cell phone per at t person that i was talking about myself phone bill and one thing led to the next uh -huh. she goes oh all i've got in front of me is a bottle of soda we do my old soda and i will do anything except for alcohol or okay. wine yeah i would imagine it would take out the alcohol content um and so the kind of maybe be a i don't know smiling. what it would do but uh it was suggested not, not alcohol too. so anyway i did her i did her soda and she takes a drink and she said, oh, it's nasty. I said, what do you mean? She said, it was just ice cold. Now it's room temperature and it's flat. And she goes, are you going to make me drink this? And I said, yes. <laughs> you asked. <laughs> so water and, is the best. Right. But if you have your glass of water or a bottle and you happen to have your coffee or tea next to you or even a juice, it's going to get transmuted also. Okay. So any other drinks you want far enough away. Okay. Not that that's a bad thing, but like if you're drinking your favorite coffee, it's not going to taste like your favorite coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, so um, so I'm ready. Okay, I hope that you're all ready. We've given you a couple minutes to get your water ready, and mm -hmm. if you're if you would do us the honor, we'd... I am ready. Okay, so would you like me to tell you at each step, or would you like me to just go ahead? I would like you to do whatever feels what, best for you. Okay. We are transmuting and cleansing the cells. Mm -hmm. 
We are filling the cells with Creator God cells. We are filling the cells with Christ consciousness. We are filling the cells with blessings. And it's ready. Did you feel that? It was cool. I had to stop. It felt bubbly when you were um, filling the cells with um, blessings. And then the creator, my, my water got colder. And look, it's all like, I know oh, it's it did get colder, hand, but it got colder. Like it, I felt it feel almost like I pulled it out of the freezer. So I'm going to drink my water. Yes. And tell, and tell us please what, if you taste a difference, sometimes you'll taste a difference. Sometimes you might not. Well, I got to tell you that, you know, this is Zephyr Hills and I love the spring water because I used to go hiking all the time and I used to love going to the um, springs mm -hmm. and filling my glass with the water right from mm -hmm. the springs in the mountains. And even though this is Zephyr Hills, it is spring water from supposedly, it never really tastes like it, right? Because it's been bottled and it actually tastes like I just scooped this out of the side of the mountain yes wow that's so cool i love it maybe so, so whoever's going to call in will share will have done the water and they'll share their yeah experience. so you can call in if you've um if you've got your water blessed and you're noticing something different about it um again the phone number to call in is uh listed right here 713-955-0351 that's 713 nine five five zero three five one and i believe we're going to open up the phone lines in just a couple of minutes is that true two minutes so two minutes if you start calling now you can actually be on hold and be one of the first people mm -hmm. to call in and get a blessing with gene or ask a question or tell oh, us yes. about your water. We can do a personal blessing too. Yes. Yeah, so cool. Yes. So while we're waiting for you to get uh, connected on the phone line, we still have a couple more minutes. I would like, um, you know, you have this new uh, aha. You know, I love it that through uh, over the course of your uh, your own spiritual journey, you've had so many aha moments and things. It seems like the spirit has just kind of it's like built they're building a big ice cream cone for you and they just keep adding a scoop and adding a scoop yeah. i'd like you to tell my viewers about your um your most your newest scoop so to speak mm -hmm. which is that um balancing the heart and the heart soul song with the ego i was really intrigued by that when you talked about that did i say that right yes you did oh. every yeah. human being has a, their own personal uh heart soul song and it's very important to be aware of it and keep it balanced. So that way it's always vibrating at its highest potential, mm -hmm. which is also helpful for when you're manifesting too. Um, and ego, there is divine ego and then there is shadow vanity ego dark side ego if you know yeah. you know what i'm talking like the, about that's that greed the, the, need, greed, the greed the need the, the insecurity the jealousy yes the divine ego is staying in humble grace gratitude and going with the flow for the highest good ah uh, okay so that sounds much better <laughs> yes so that is one of my new aha things that we just started doing in the last uh, less than two weeks and um, actually, you know, coming down here to Florida uh -huh. was really um, my coming out in a way of doing new things for humanity. Um, I had an event, and that's what brought me here initially. Wow. Okay. Uh, down in uh, Isla La, Mar La Marta. I have such a hard time saying that, and I don't know why. <laughs> It's one of the Florida Keys. Is one of the correct? Florida Keys, just under Key West. I mean, okay. under under Key Largo. Nice, okay. beautiful out there. Oh right? yes. yes, and Andrea at her yoga studio. What a beautiful woman. Ah, oh. but anyway, my purpose to originally to have this is how I got to Florida, was uh, I came down to open up uh, DNA, RNA in anybody who was coming to my event or want to do this with me in the future, this uh -huh. is my 
my big thing right now that I'm presenting to people. That is so cool. And um, can I just say real quick, Jean? I don't sure. mean to interrupt you because this is so intriguing. Yes. Uh, we just actually logged into our Blog Talk Radio show. So mm -hmm. for those of you who are just listening in on Blog Talk Radio, we'd like to extend a very warm welcome. I'm, vis I'm talking here with Jean Salch. We've been on our YouTube channel for about half an hour now talking about all the wonderful gifts. And we're just talking about the brand new uh, services that you're offering to people and uh and we were talking about blending the ego with the uh, with the soul song heart soul song heart soul song yeah so um just to kind of finish that thought and i did not mean to interrupt you it's okay it's like I so understand. interesting yeah um jean has been brought here to southwest florida she is from vermont and uh and there are so many new things that she's offering. So please do continue. And, and, and okay. Again. And now, since you said mentioned that I came from Vermont, that is true. <laughs> and the interesting thing is that when it was told to me, okay, Jean, you're ready. Okay. I, I was thinking it would be in Vermont, my first event, because I'm affiliated with All Souls Interfaith Gathering. That's where I'm an intern minister. So that I would assume sense. that that would be the place. And they said, no, we want you to go to the Keys. So I called six places from Key Largo down to the tip. And this one place was the only place that said yes. <laughs> so I they said, the Immaculate Conception said, have have radical trust and faith, Jean, it will all work out. Nice. So I did it and it has all worked out and I've had radical trust, which is awesome because we all need to know that we all have our inner guidance. We all have our guardian angels in our own personal God self mm -hmm. that guides us, as you know, Michelle, with yeah. your work. How many times are you driving down the road and your gut says, turn left? But your head says, no, I always turn right. But follow your gut because that is your inner God self telling you, no, go left because we're avoiding something yeah. that is might be harmful for you. That would make sense. Yes. And for me, I believe that that same, I believe that the way that we get to our God self is through our subconscious, right? Which is connected to the yes. superconscious. And we'll talk the about the God self. Yeah. We definitely want to do that. Um, here today on the show because so the other part was uh, anyone in my event who wanted to participate they broke free from the matrix of Mother Earth so why would someone want to do that mm -hmm. good question well anybody who goes back and researches what dissolved Atlantis initially for Mother Earth can get that I won't get into that now but as a result, humanity has been locked into the matrix of Mother Earth. You're reincarnating and reincarnating on Mother Earth. You cannot go anywhere else. Mm -hmm. If you break this matrix, that means that you are free to incarnate, yes, on Earth if you choose again, but anywhere else in the galaxy. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I think for where the, I'd like to go. And mm. this has <laughs> is this opportunity over the last couple of years, because I'm not the first one in humanity to mention this, mm -hmm. that uh yeah, I have heard that, that before. It's important to do this if you do not want if you want that freedom. Because the creator gave us free will. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that means that we should be able to enforce that free will to the best of our ability. Nice. So the other thing that I did was I did a group healing. And what we did was because we were opening up DNA, RNA gifts, mm -hmm. we had to do a healing. The healing has to come first because you have to remove any resin in your uh, conscious mind or your subconscious mind or your energy field mm -hmm. um, because we carry this lifetime after lifetime even like from our childhood into mm -hmm. our adulthood we carry stuff um, and we had to remove all the fears mm -hmm. what kind of fears well if you believe in reincarnation fears from past life persecutions during the dark ages past life persecutions as a result of the witch trials type mm -hmm. situations okay um and uh or depending on your religious upbringing i it has been brought to my attention mm -hmm. that the people on earth who are very focused christians mm -hmm. 
who think that the stuff that we do is like way out there and to stay away from, those are the people that have been persecuted the most lifetimes. Wow. And it's so, the fear is so ingrained in their energy field that they won't stray in this yeah. lifetime. That makes sense. Well, he, I have seen, and not to get too much on the religious topic, right. but I have seen kind of a, um, a little uh, breakup in that area, you know, where a lot of people that are really strict Christians are um, not straying away from their religion, but being a little bit more open. They're starting to question it, too. Yeah, question, yes. being open to other religions. Not that they want to change their religion, right. but more respectful, I guess, of other religions. And I, I like to see, I'm happy to see that well, happening. You, you know, Michelle, I, in my studies, I studied every type of religion in all forms wow. that were on earth and you'd be surprised if they all have the same roots yeah and i'd imagine you'd have to with all the all the people all this wonderful um leadership energy that you channel they're probably like listen you got to know what you know what that earthbound connection is if you're going to be yes and what energy. people also need to know michelle is that when you're walking on mother earth mm -hmm. you're walking on a living being and Mother yes. Earth holds all our emotions. So if people are wondering why are, they, why are there so many storms, why are there so many earthquakes type things, mm -hmm. right? Look at the emotions of the people that live in that space. Yeah. Okay. Wow. People want to know, you know, why, why is this happening in my life? Well, everybody chooses mm -hmm. their circumstances. Wow. And one of the things I also promote is you have a choice. I have struggles just like you have struggles, but mm -hmm. we make a choice every day, don't we, Michelle? Yeah, we do. With, and the choice is I'm going to make the best of it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be happy about it because I'm grateful that I can get out of bed and walk to the, into the bathroom. I'm grateful I can walk down the mm -hmm. stairs and cook my own food. I'm grateful that I can see and hear. The more gratitude you have, the more blessings and gifts you have. Now that's I'm glad you brought that up because that's a question that I think a lot of my uh, listeners or a lot of people who are listening in some of yours as well mm -hmm. will have is um, what about those people that are just really you know they're, they're the people that I call like the dark cloud people they just have a dark cloud over their head and as much as you know as spiritual um, assistance we try to help them out of it um, do you believe what is your belief on that do you believe that people that have like a lot of bad luck that they're creating it in their life or do you think that's part of a lesson or karmic that they need to clear out I mean how do what do you say to that person that's just really feeling like um, they're at the end of their rope and just like nothing could possibly go well what do you say to them well you'd be surprised Michelle because I've even done exorcisms wow <laughs> so what I would say is first I would say May, since you're asking me this question, may I have permission to look at you? Because I can only speak for myself. I am so much about permission and respect and gratitude. Mm -hmm. So whether you're talking to me or not about it, I'm not going to look at you unless you give me permission because of respect. So what I would do is I would look at that person energetically. I would look at them past life, present life, mm -hmm. okay? All right. Yes, it's the combination that you're mentioning, Michelle. Part of it is, yes, you are recreating it over and over again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there a possibility that it's a karmic experience? If it is, then let's look at that. Mm -hmm. What is your karmic lessons here? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, what did you, what happened in past lives that caused you and brought you in here to learn this lesson? Um, are you someone who maybe as a teenager at a party played with a Ouija board? Mm -hmm. Okay. I highly say no to Ouija boards. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's not because I'm afraid of them. It's because Ouija boards are one of those things that you don't mess with because unless you really know what you're doing, mm -hmm. you can open up some 
things that are not so nice yeah that's true and actually it's not i'm not making this about me but how perfect is this i cover that in my book by the way oh playing, you do playing charades with the deceased if you haven't got the book it's about my my journey through connecting and communicating with the spirit world and i do cover almost i think it's almost a whole chapter on the Ouija board and proper use and why and how important it is and why improper use opens up major doorways. So, but that's for another show because today is about Jean and well, I so know that, my, but that was divine timing. Don't it was you, just perfect. it's always like, divine timing it's for this commercial. We have like <laughs> for a moment because I couldn't not do it. <laughs> well, Mary brought it out. Yeah, I but love let me it. just put this out there. The other thing that I also do with people at my events is I take them on a shamanic journey back and we astral project and it's all totally completely safe and we go <sighs> we go to where the creator or god however you refer to the higher mm -hmm. being we take we uh go back to where you were first created wow and you get to witness your soul being created for the first time and watch it do we have time to do that or do we, we could do want to do this how does that have anything to do well i know they all are connected but does, <laughs> Do, do we have time to go on a rather, journey? Yeah. Do we have time to go on a journey, or do we? We can do one in five minutes. So we can what, whatever you, whatever you want to do, we can do. <sighs> what do you think? I'd like to go. On well, a do we have any call-ins? Let's see what well, they want to say. It doesn't look like we have anybody calling in yet, but I'd like to give the phone number to call in again. Um, if you have any questions for Jean, the number to call in is 713-955-0351. Again, that's 713-955-0351. We'd love to hear from you. So mm -hmm. call in, call in with questions, call in if you sat in on the, on the water blessing and you would like more information about that. Call in um, if you have a uh, personal healing that you'd like to get or ask about. You know, if you have a question for Gina, she is um, offering blessings, blessings to people that call in. And, uh, you know, we just really love to have somebody else here <laughs> to, to kind of chat with us. So, um, so let me just say this, Michelle. Um, sometimes people might talk to me because they want to know what their past lives are. Yeah. Sometimes people well, talk to me, cool. be, right? Sometimes people talk to me because they want to know what their gifts are. Yeah. Um, and then once I tell them, then we unlock it and open them up. That's kind of cool. Yes. And just to let you know, some people come not just for healings because they're having a physical thing mm -hmm. or maybe an internal organ thing. Sometimes they come because, uh, they're in, in the middle of transition and they want to clear their selves because their heads are racing. What should I do? Which way mm -hmm. should I go type of thing? And they need to be cleared, centered and balanced. And so that, and we, so that we can open up the, uh, the resist, let go of the resistance. Nice. Um, so that they can have that creative light bulb go off to where it goes next. Wow. Because what people don't realize, Michelle, is that when we go into a fear space because of circumstances, um, we prevent ourselves from moving forward. Yeah, we prevent I ourselves really agree from uh, abundance. Mm -hmm. How many people around the world have read or watched the movie The Secret, as an example, yeah. right? It's an excellent movie. Right. But they, right. but they sit and they do it, they do it, and they do it, and then they say, oh, this isn't working. Why isn't it working? Well, that what you need to also remember is that on a subconscious, unconscious level, if you don't believe that you're worthy enough to have this stuff. Yeah, you can you're not going to have it no matter how much you manifest. Mm -hmm. So you need to program your subconscious and your unconscious. And how might you do that? You sit every day in like a 10, 15, 30 minute meditation. Yeah. And you tell your subconscious, I am worthy to have all that my heart desires. Nice. That's a wonderful message. And I yes. think that's important because I, I really, I'm a firm believer that, you know, what we're thinking about, what we're focusing most on is what we're creating in our life, you know? And if we're focusing on why isn't this working, that's what really stuck out for me when you were talking about the movie, The Secret. 
that's what you're focusing on is why isn't this working so spirit and the universe is going to show you it's going to answer your questions yes. this is why it's not working and they're going to give you more examples of why it's not working to kind of prove you know that it's not working well and you know aunt just to tie that up michelle um what people some people don't also realize is that Let's say you're looking for a job as an example, okay? They'll pray, I want a, a job, I need a job, I need a job. Oh my God, I need a job because I'm gonna lose this or I'm gonna lose that. How am I gonna pay my bills? How am I gonna buy food? Yeah. You know that's a random, that's a very typical mindset today throughout the world, mm -hmm. okay? You are creating blocks from you having a job, from having food, from having your, <laughs> bills paid what you need to do is you need to be in gratitude yeah. i am so grateful that the perfect job that i'm in the perfect job mm -hmm. i'm so grateful that the job i have is serving me now as a paycheck because the perfect job is coming yeah and i'm so grateful nice. it feels so good to finally be valued at my job and recognized are you hearing what i'm saying feels different when you think about it that exactly. way. Exactly. Oh, we have a call. Very Yay. exciting. I am. So I'm just going to kind of connect with that caller. What's the area code for that caller? 774. Okay. So we have a caller from area code 774. And, um... Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's okay. So excited we have a caller. I know. Me too. <laughs> I love calling. Yeah. Is it working? Hello, caller. Are you there? Yes, I am. Yay, welcome to the show. Uh, you are here live on the air. What's Hello? your name, caller, and how can we help you? Yes, my name is T. I'm T. I've been listening and now for a few minutes. I was thinking about the black cloud and the bad luck you were talking about. Oh, is yes. It possible for people. Yes, is it possible for people to change their energy if the reason for the bad luck is because of past life karma? Yes, absolutely. Oh, wow. good absolutely. Question. Good question. Um, there's many things that you can do. Um, you could uh, seek out a healer such as me. You could seek out other forms of holistic healing you can sit quietly if you're a person that never meditates are you um yes sometimes okay may i ask how you meditate when you do it um usually i just close my eyes take a couple of deep breaths and just clear my mind Okay, well, let's do a perfect example teaching for you and anyone who's listening that would like to do this. Would, would you, you like that? Yes. Oh, great. So we'll be able to like, yes. maybe clear some past lives or see what's going on. Well, let's, with do, tea? let's do this right now. Okay, everyone who would like to participate, please close your eyes. Close your eyes, T. Take a nice big inhale, cleansing breath, and exhale through your mouth. Two feet above your head is your God self, where your highest form of your God self is. Put your attention two feet above your head, Ty, and anyone listening. Can you feel it, Michelle? Two yeah. feet above your head, that's your God self. Ty, can you feel it? Two feet above your head, T. Okay, now you've got, you can feel your God self, right? Inhale, yes. and as you inhale, bring in with intentions your God self to the top of your head, which is your crown chakra, as you exhale. So as you're breathing in, your intentions as you exhale is bringing your God self into your crown chakra, the top of your head. Breathe down and in your God self. Bring it down into the center of your head as you exhale. Breathe in your God self. Bring it down to your throat chakra. Filling your throat chakra with your God self. 
Yes, I was going to do that. <laughs> We're so in sync. Yes. <laughs> Breathe in your God self and bring it down into your heart chakra. Breathing in your God self, bringing it down into your heart chakra. Breathe in your God self and bring it to your solar plexus where your diaphragm is. Breathe in your God self, bring it down into your solar plexus where your diaphragm is. Breathe in your God self and exhale down into your navel. Bring your God self down into your navel as you exhale. Breathe in your God self and bring it down into your sacral just below your navel. Breathe in your God self, exhale into your root chakra in the center of your groin area. Breathe in your God self, bring it down into your root chakra. Breathe in your God self and exhale into your feet. How do you feel now, Ty? T. Good. There you go. That's all you got to do as a practice with also adding the intentions of strengthening your protection mm -hmm. and having the self-trust that you are protected in divine love and light. Nice. How do you feel, Michelle? I feel awesome. I feel like I need to dig a nap now. I think it's the water in that. <laughs> so, T, um, is this something that T should do daily? Yes. Or? Okay. And, um, and will this help him with like his past like life yes. karma yes. and stuff like that? Yes, because what it will do is help you, T, to be in your divine grace, humble uh, man space, because you're a man, so you would be in your uh, holy man space. Okay, great. Do you think that's something you can do every day, T? Yes. Wow. Because as you noticed, it took us less than five minutes. Yeah, that was pretty quick. That was just three minutes. Three Our minutes. Our producer's timing is three minutes. So, Ty, that's something that you could make a commitment for yourself? I think that yeah. T's past life name was Ty. I think it is because, you know, I keep calling him that. Yeah. And let, may I have permission to look at that? Because it must be important if I keep saying it. Yes. Yeah. When I say this, and I will be very I will be very discreet. When I say tobacco plantation, how does that resonate with you? I think of a cigarette. Okay, how does it make you feel in your stomach? Okay. How does it make you feel in your head? Almost like I could be done with cigarettes. Okay. How does it feel in your feet? Kind of relaxed. Okay. So I'm going to look at you again. Okay. As a reason, here's our validation right here, right now, Michelle, to your question. You just released that past life. Wow. And that's why you feel the way you do about cigarettes right now. And you will continue feeling this way. And the only way you'll pick up that cigarette is if you say, I want it that I want to. But if you stay with the space that you're in, you'll probably never pick up another cigarette again. That's so cool. That is your miracle, divine self-healing excellent that is your healing for you you can do to heal yourself wow 
Thank you so much for calling in, T. T is like our, my biggest fan. He calls in whenever he can. And as always, we really appreciate your call and your input. Yes, T, thank you for blessing me with your presence. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. You and helped me so much. We have another call. We have another call. Well, so we have, have a wonderful, blessed day, and we hope to hear from you again soon. I hope to hear from you too, Ty. <laughs> T, I love it. <laughs> I know, I know him from that. Oh, we have another caller on Holt and um, from area code 914. Hello, caller, are you there? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, hello. Hi, welcome to Mind Tripping with Michelle. Uh, I'm here with Gene Salch. What's your name? Uh, my name is Eddie. Hey, Eddie, welcome to the show. What can we do uh, for you very today? Interesting. Uh, that was too simple. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You, we think it's supposed to be more difficult, don't we? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, an elder once said to me that um, if something is complicated, then it's not right. And that was like too simple because. Uh, you know, I'm a smoker also, and I've been working on doing the same thing, quitting. I caught, I caught the end of that, but what I do notice is um, it didn't really feel or sound like emotion was tied to that uh, anecdote or experiment that you just did. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's okay for him. That uh -huh. That's okay for you, Eddie. Because just because it was that way for T, t does not mean it was the same for you. Because everybody's different. Everybody has their own path, their own experiences, their own lessons. Indeed, indeed. Um, when, when I said that it was too easy, thing like that, it was really uh, stated as a joke. But. Um, <laughs> It, it definitely does give you a, a good feeling to know that, um, you know, some of these easy things with, with um, constant practice uh, will definitely uh, bring about those changes. Definitely. definitely. But I wonder at the question in reference to um, those spiritual journeys and things like that. Uh, I don't know what the topic is, but can I ask that question? Oh, of course you can. And, and the topic is really about, you know, our spiritual journeys. And uh, Gene helps a lot of people remove blocks and awaken to their higher self and healings and everything. So go right ahead, Eddie. We welcome your question. Mm, thank you. Um, on the spiritual journeys, uh, how, how, how can you start them? Is there anything on YouTube or something to, to basically... Uh, you know, open a person up to uh, doing them because I know uh, we're talking to quite a few people about meditation and things like that. And people do these things in different ways, but I think the journeys will basically uh, really bring you into meeting the real you. Am I correct? Yes. In fact, I have over a dozen YouTube videos up on YouTube for various uh, meditations for healing. So we could uh, maybe Eddie could visit your website and check it out. Yes, his meditations that will take you on whatever journey you'd like to go on, and that's uh, the web Jean's website. This is going to be uh, this is recorded as well, Eddie. So it's uh, www.jeansalch.com. J e a n s a l c h. And I really hate to cut you short, but we are running low on time, Eddie. So. Please check back with us and keep us posted on your progress. And you, yes, and you'll find me under on YouTube under Gene of Divine Healing. Gina, say one more time, please. You will find me on YouTube under Gene of Divine Healing. Yep. So Gene of Divine Healing, and I'll have it posted on my website as well after, and it's uh, and also on the blog talk show. So it's a. Uh, Michelle, that's michellemelioonline.com. But thank you so much for calling in, and we wish you all of luck. And please keep us posted, Eddie. Thank you. Will do. 
Bless you, you, Eddie. Thank you. I look forward yes. to hearing from you. Blessings. Okay. So we are um, pretty much coming toward to the end of our show. We just have um, we just have a few more um, seconds left. And uh, geez, I could have sat. We could sit and talk for hours. Yes, we? we could. I would absolutely love to have you back on the show when you get back to Vermont. Maybe we could do a video. Show I would love that because there's just so much more for us to cover. Mm -hmm, I think, I, think mm -hmm. you, I think you have so much more to share with the world. Yes, I do because you know there's so much more that uh, we're doing, and it's time for the world to know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So, Jean, Jean Salch, thank you so much for joining me today. If you would like more information about Jean, please visit her website. It is www.jeansalch.com. I'm going to do my best to get her back on the show once she gets settled back in Vermont. Maybe she might even show us a little bit of snow <laughs> yes. as I sit in the sunshine. <laughs> And, um, and so thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching us. Uh, as always, I, I wish you all well. I wish you blessings. And um, thank you so much for watching Mind Tripping with Michelle. Namaste. Namaste.